I'm very happy to start immersive engineering for real this time though uh, with the metal press. I am super excited. So let's get into that. I did a lot of mining in between episodes. I did what I said I was going to do. I uh, made a dock here. I swam boat all the way around here. I made a dock here. And then my new mine shaft is, let's see, right here. Cool, huh? So I'm mining in the mesa. I did that for about an hour, maybe two. I did lose track of time. Uh, but what's crazy is I came back uh, from a really big haul with uh, 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 32. I think it was 32 gold, which I manually ran through the grinder. That took forever, drove me crazy. A bunch of iron, which I've already processed because I needed some steel for this episode. And look at this, 49 diamonds. <clears throat> I came across three packs of diamonds while branch mining in those two hours. And uh, those three uh, clusters of diamonds gave me 49 diamonds because uh, I have now con successfully leveled the pickaxe to fortune three. I ran into a bunch of lapis, which swords are harder to level up. So I put all of my lapis on my sword. It now has looting too. Uh, I, while trying to fix this guy, you know, the, the blaze farm to make it, sh make it function a little bit better. I really wanted to be able to see the inside cause that's the whole point of it being aesthetic. Uh, Enderman started spawning around me. More importantly, two Endermen spawned on top of each other. I killed them with um, my looting sword and I got five ender pearls. So I'll start the episode off with finally doing this modifier. Uh, this thing is on page one. It requires four ender pearls and this gives you the excavate modifier, which now we should get the quest for that. Uh, I really, really want it wanted this. Uh, I could have used it yesterday, but I wanted to get it on stream, of course, and on recording uh, of of earning the quest. Yeah, because we've been talking, about, I've been talking about this for a while now. Uh, they're FTB packs, from what I understand, they don't have uh, excavate, but this pack has this modifier that you can put on the pick, which I don't have any modifiers right now, so I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, I need one modifier slot to be able to put the excavate modifier on it, which I'm going to put all five. I don't know exactly how much it caps out at, but all it does is it lets you mine from further away. It doesn't let you mine more. It just lets you mine further away. And most of the time when I, uh, when I or excavate, it's, I'm going to be standing in front of the pocket. I'm not going to be like 10 blocks away. So I'll leave these here until I level up my pick one more time. I can put excavate on it. Quest reward bauxite. Not a big deal right now, but later when we start uh, refining the bauxite into, I believe, zinc. If we highlight it and hit U, industrial grinder makes aluminum. But I think it's more important than that. Is it really just that? It makes aluminum in the industrial grinder. Uh, maybe the bauxite ore? Yeah, the bauxite ore, you run it through an uh, industrial electrolyzer to get titanium dust. So we'll, we're gonna be making titanium with the bauxite. That is actually very important, very important. Uh, so yeah, I'm rambling because I'm, I'm really happy to be home. I'm really happy to be streaming. And talking to you guys and playing Minecraft so uh, let's continue now we did this my first run of continuum before I was streaming I did not complete this quest I did not complete this quest and I did not complete this quest on the first page Th mainly because they are very very expensive I did do tree juice because tree juice is required to go into industrial rebirth you need latex to make all of this goofy stuff but we're in immersive engineering. Let's make the metal press, which I really like this about this mod pack. When you click on your quests, it tells you how many of each piece you need. Uh, I remember like the metal press is pretty simple to make. I put the stuff that I need here. It's easy to remember how to build it. It's easy to remember what materials you need. Uh, did I leave it in my backpack? Yeah. 
that steel this we made the metal press mold we made the steel mechanical components uh, but one thing I want to see the projector is gonna be it's a quest but also makes it a lot easier <clears throat> to build the bigger machines the ones I don't remember how to how to put together glass iron treated wood the lantern okay we're stuck behind iron plates that's what it was we have everything but the iron plate, so the metal press is required to make the projector. So let's go ahead and make the metal press while we're at it. We need two steel scaffolding, which this makes six. We need three steel rods. This makes four. We only need that once. Oh, and let me get to my crafting grid. Now to we need six. Cool, because we only need two. Uh, and we also need one heavy engineering block, which Electrum was a uh, an alloy of gold and silver. We get two. We only need one. So let me not go crazy. And let's make one in the alloy kiln real quick. This is something I could have had prepared, but because last episode we got stuck on this, for example... Let's see. Charcoal. I guess I don't really care. I'm pretty sure that's going to continue to burn. We could have done eight to be more efficient, but charcoal is charcoal. We have so much charcoal and so much wood that I'm not even repairing the tree farm right now. I know. But now we have that one thing that was keeping us from making the metal press last time. Uh, the gold. A singular piece of gold. Uh, we need iron, redstone, and copper. Uh, let me ditch this. Well, let me hold this. Iron, redstone. I got. I put them in the block form, so that uh, we have more room. And copper. Let me break this back down. Yeah, forty nine is good. And redstone engineering block. Perfect. And we need the hammer, which I keep my tools on me. There we go. And let's place this down in the basement, which I have been working on just a little bit with the uh, marble I've been gathering. Uh, so what I'm thinking I want to do is I want to move the goofy setup of power from upstairs to this wall. So also what I want to do, or maybe this wall, because I know I have the cables, yeah, right here. And I want to be able to hide it, of course. Oh, look, a copper. We found some copper, guys. Oh, an F7. Make sure that I'm showing my light levels. So I want this to be in the wall. So I need to go deep in here. Also, I need to go up one. So that'll continue there. And then the cable will come down the wall and be back here, which I'm going to put that there for now. Uh, and then maybe go sideways, make it look cool. Like this. Yeah. It also lets me repurpose some of the marble. I guess I can make a crawl space back here. Uh. There we go. Magnetic for the win. Alright. We can do something like that. That's a cool looking design. I do like that. Run the leadstone back there. Uh, and then... Let's see. I can also run the leadstone in the floor. Let's see. I did one, two, three, four, five. I might want to make this now. One, two, one, two. Let's keep it symmetrical. I might push the wall that direction. But I don't really want to push the wall yet because uh, we're working towards the drill. And the drill will let me mine in three by threes, which will make building underground so much easier. So, so much easier. Uh, so, yeah, I can run. I can always move it. I mean, I say this every episode, but I can always move things, right? Let's go. I'm going to put them right here for right now. And let's build the metal press right here. 
So it'll be really cool by the door. Maybe... Is that too close? Nah, that's good. So, scaffolding, scaffolding. Redstone engineering block. Piston. Heavy engineering block. Boom. And then we're going to make this feed this direction. So wherever you place it, you see it makes lines for the triangles. Wherever you place it on which side, it's the way it points. I want them to be pointing this way, and they both need to be pointing the same direction. There, and now when we hammer this, it should turn the piston, there we go, down, and then you hit the redstone or the piston again, and there we go, boom. We have it going. Cool. So again, you know me, I like to do temporary things and then do aesthetic changes to everything in between episodes so that I don't bore you guys. Again, I'm going to steal this guy. Did I pick it up? I did. We already made the metal press mold. Okay, the projector, what did it need? Two iron plates. So let's grab some iron while we're here, like this. Here we go. The well, first time I played Minecraft was this mod pack, and this is exactly what I did to get this guy running. I put the clockwork engine on top of this guy until I figured out exactly how cables worked, transferring power, all of that stuff. And let's see, can this reach around the unit? It can, good. So that is pumping power into it for right now. Um, let's see, I don't have... I'm gonna do a piece of dirt. Do I have, I don't have, let's see, I need one piece of treated wood. I need, how many blaze rods do we have? We have 11 blaze rods I could make. No, I'm not gonna make a, a, a hopper just yet. But what I am going to make is some uh, some chests. Sorry, I was concentrating on how much room I got. I will make some chests. Eight, and let me make another eight because I know I'm gonna have to gonna need these guys, and they stack, so that's pretty cool. Change this with treated wood. So what I'm gonna do is. Instead of dirt, I'm going to keep the aesthetic going with treated wood. And I'm going to put this guy right here. Because the conveyor belt will drop it in here. And get you back up to red. Nice. And let's see. Let's do what? 32? Oh! Yeah, so it would help to put the mold on. There we go. Wow. That is awfully slow. That is awful. Oh, well, I, am, I guess I am used to Enigmatica. It was faster in Enigmatica, plus you could use time in a bottle to make it kind of, kind of obscene. But here we go. We got some iron plates going. I'll take these with me. Let me grab this because I don't want to risk it despawning on me. I don't know. With, with how slow it's going, I don't want to leave and then have like me lose like 20, 20 iron because it despawned. Okay, so the, the we need to make this guy. We need the glass panes. We need glowstone. So let's grab the glowstone. Oh cool, and the glass panes. And let's make the lantern. Oh, it makes three. And we need treated wood and glass. One glass and one treated wood makes the projector. Now what's great is the projector with this guy the engineer's manual. That's what makes this super worthwhile. 
I got a regular torch in here. I use all stone torches, so I guess I could knock it out and then pick it up again with a different one. Let's see, is everything down here stone torches? I don't want to just have one random wooden torch. I can stick these behind. Is there another torch back here? There's no torch, so when I block this off, it's going to have uh, mob spawns. I don't like that. Alright, so we did this guy, and we also did this guy. And I actually, small storage crates, I love these guys. Small storage. Iron plates, obsidian chests, crystal chests, diamond chests, that's where it is. This is a ridiculous recipe. This is ridiculous to make one small storage chest. I mean, these are great, but I'll get to AE2 faster than uh, wasting my time making this guy. Jeez. I do need to make one, you know, for the quest because I am a completionist. Uh, the small one's not really worth it, but if you do keep going, you can upgrade this to a large storage chest. That will make it worthwhile. And I tend to use the, uh, the storage chests to hold uh, everything that I'm currently working on. So what's great is the, uh, the metal press opens up a lot inside immersive engineering. And uh, one thing that I do want to start working on is uh, we need to make the molds. So let's see, mold to make the metal press mold gear we need the engineer's blueprint for all of the molds, which that one requires, okay, we got crafting components and we got engineer's blueprint requires one steel plate. So we can toss a steel plate in there. What's that? Oh, I threw a loot chest. Uh, There we go. Let's pump you full again until red. There we go. And then let's get some steel plates going. 12. And loot chest, French toast. More bauxite. Do I have any French toast in here? Perfect. Or did I throw it? Yep, I threw it. There we go. Some steel plates. It's almost like diorite, dirt, cobble. Let me get rid of that because it's in my way right now. There we go. We don't have to worry about de-resing. 12 steel plates, perfect. So here, did I never make the blueprint? I guess I never made the blueprint for the crafting components. Did I really not? Okay. Well, I need one, two, three, four, five, six of the bluebells. So here we go. One, two. Here comes the useful part of the bluebells. One, two, three, four, five. This is why I've been picking them up. Because I did not want to waste my lapis. I want to put that on my swords. Every bluebell I picked up, every bluebell, bluebell I saw, I picked up. And then I planted them instead of uh, putting them in chests. One, they won't take up space, and two, it looks pretty. So we need paper, which we have six, perfect. We need one steel plate, and then what was it? We need one of iron, aluminum, and copper. We have iron and aluminum, or iron and copper. We need one aluminum, perfect. Let's make this mold, or I'm sorry, this one, and then also this one. 
Nice. So this we can now make molds. And the one I need is the wire. Yeah, wire. Five steel plates. For the wire one, which that's crazy. It needs that's pretty expensive, you know. And I also need the the gear mold, but I'll wait on that one because I can cast them out in the smeltery right now, and that's pretty expensive to tell you the truth. So other than that, the steel rod, the rods would be cheaper. But let's keep it on the uh, components. The mechanical components definitely are cheaper through the crafting table. Uh, so let's see. What I really want to work on is the drill. We need advanced coil. We have the empowered diamond tines. We need aluminum wire. So we need eight. So one, two. So is that only two aluminum? Hopefully I'm doing the math right. I don't need the marble. And let me get rid of these for now. And this guy. And this. Oh, aluminum. One, two. So, two aluminum will make four. Or no, one ingot makes two, so that makes four. So yeah, I only need two. And then steel, I only need two. But what about this guy in the middle? Oh, so many basic coils. And what's cool is when you add the blueprint, it makes the blueprint hang off the table, which is sadly is clipping into the wall. All right, so let's switch this with the wire. Whoop, and I'll put the mold in here. We need two aluminum and two steel. And let's pump this guy up a little bit more. This guy will be connected with uh, power in between episodes, most likely. There we go. And let's see the drill. Sticks. Let's see if I can hop the stairs. Yeah. We. Sticks. Nope. And that. And one high voltage coil block. We need three empowered diamond tines, which I should still have them. Yep. One, two, three. We need one, two, three, four. We need one, two, three, four iron blocks. Four iron blocks. Two, three, four. Zap these. Boom. Four Anoris, perfect. We need the coils. I made a bunch of them. Yeah, I made eight of them. Good. We need one Restonia crystal. Drill core. And then we just need two more of the, of the advanced coils. Cool, so we need, what is that? Eight, 16 nickel nuggets. Do we have any more nickel? Did I use all of the nickel? Oh my god, really? So that is one thing I did not find while I was... Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I was worried there for a second. So we need 16. All right, 16. And... Two. And the drill. 
right on time. So what's great is uh, the, the drill will be able to uh, make the drill mining augment next for aluminum plate. We need advanced coil. We made the empowered emiratic crystal. So let's see, can I make the augments? Because I also need to make the energizer and the kinetic dynamo. Electrum gear, did I already make the electrum gear? I did not. Let's get rid of that. So let's go two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And set these in here. Four and oh my goodness, where did I put it? Am I blind? I went blind. There. I am blind. There we go. And then that can pour out into a gear for us. Four aluminum plate, another advanced coil, and the empowered emiratic crystal. That'll make the drill mining augment one. And then the energizer requires a kinetic dynamo, which is also required for the water wheel which requires diamantine, wow, diamantine electron tubes. Brutality. Let's see. Molten electrum, cool. I'll turn this on so that it'll make the two gears for us. And then drill. We got speed augments, right? Ooh, that is also expensive. The three is the important one. Eight steel plates, two invar, some more gold, another high voltage thing, and power diamond. We need two. We need, okay. We need to make an another, another empowered diamantine crystal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we need clay. And what was it? Light blue, I think. There's our electrum gears. I'll leave that in there right now. We need light blue, which running around and trying to find a blue orchid would be kind of difficult right now. So what I'll do is I'll hack one of another one of the... Uh, bluebells we have over here and I will turn this into blue I will then also grab a bone no wait did I put bone meal in here I did put it does break into more than one piece right more than one bone meal No, there it is. And one bone meal with blue dye makes two light blue. Perfect. Running out of room again. Bone meal. We don't need the lanterns anymore. Put the metal press mold in our backpack. We'll put the drill in the backpack for now. Get rid of that our sharpening kits. We can get rid of those. This we can get rid of. Put this down here for now. Like that. It's a little bit cleaner. Break that down. Light blue. Block of diamond. Diamantine crystal block. Light blue. Clay. Clay. And clay block. 
There we go. That'll make us some more empowered diamonds. We have empowered emerald crystals. And then we'll do all of the augments for the drill and the recharger next episode. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you can hit the like button in the bottom right and go ahead and click on my guy here to subscribe to the channel, that would help us out a lot. Also, if you want to watch me stream on Twitch, I stream Monday through Friday uh, from 4 to 5 p.m. Central. So I'll see you then.